Man, I love your hunger, your excitement, your, your passion for Jesus. And I want to just say, you know, listen, I, I know we got to be smart and we've got to be wise. We've got to do all those kind of things. And if, you know, your immune system's compromised or you're older or whatever, I understand we, we stay home and that's fine too. But I'm also glad that we're seeing the church also come and gather. Because the enemy would love to just scatter us, you know, completely and not to gather. And there's something in the riches when we gather together, um, there is something powerful in that moment. And we've got to stand against fear, like Pastor was saying. And to, we're people of faith, right? We're people of faith, and we, we are wise at the same time. Let's wash our hands, <laughs> you know, do all the thing. And we can pray for people without laying hands on them, you know. We can bump them, we can put hands, whatever, you know. But listen, we just want to be Jesus with skin on wherever we go, right? And if the church shrinks back, guess what? The light of the gospel doesn't go forth. And so what the coronavirus or whatever, anything else that comes about, this is the greatest time for the church to stand up, right? Because the, <laughs> the enemy, all he wants to do is bring fear. But listen, we need to shine bright the gospel. And so let's just keep doing that. Let's keep just being the church. And uh, because this is honestly, it's like, you guys are Harvest Church. I believe that Jesus the Evangelist is about ready to move through you guys in an unprecedented manner. And the fields are ripe. They're wide under harvest. Look and see now. This is the time. And what everyone, I'm telling you, this is the time. You step out. This is the greatest moment right now for the church to display the raw power of God. Amen. Amen. Hey, so we're going to do something I don't usually do. Um, and I know when we do... Uh, Pray in tongues, speak in tongues, sometimes there's interpretation, but we're not doing that. We're just going to pray in tongues. We're just going to pray in the Spirit. Is that okay for a moment? I usually don't do this, but I feel like we're supposed to. So if you don't uh, pray in a prayer language, just make something up. It's okay. <laughs> you know, so let's stand up for a moment. <clears throat> and I'm just going to, uh, and, and the interpretation is this, God wants to move. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Rakatari Mosoto Ria Barasa, Rabaria Cato Romono Robosi, Reddit and Abosia and Abosata and Akita, Rabo Rosana the Kita and Abosso, Ramara and Abarasia and Abosi, Kura Barra Barabasoto Romoso, Kira Abosoto Romono Rocoto, Shara Abosoto Roto Romo Sata, Shara Abosata and a Satara and a Satara and a Satara. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, we pray in the Spirit, we, we build up that inner man. And I think this is the time and a, and a place where we need to build up that place. We need to look not to our circumstances, not to ourselves, but to look to heaven and begin to know that so God can manifest through us. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Now, I come from a church system where we really like try to, to dial things down, but I felt the Lord said dial it up this morning yeah. in a different way. Not in hype, but in this place of saying, look, we got to get in this place where our mind is connecting with heaven right? Jesus said, repent, change the way you think, and believe the good news of the gospel. There is so much hitting us right now that you can begin to, you know, think, oh gosh, man, the world is just overcoming sickness and disease. No. Believe the good news of the gospel. Step into the kingdom and release the kingdom where you go. Amen? Amen. You be seated. Hey, I got a couple of things. Uh, I want to go briefly through this because I want to just um, do some ministry. But uh, I know that I can't, I'm just with you for a short time. And, you know, there's a whole lot that the Lord's put in me for really living a lifestyle of putting Jesus on display with love and power. So I wrote a book about that. Um, if you've heard of a guy named Randy Clark, maybe some of you have heard, he gave me a great endorsement. And uh, Robbie Dawkins uh, wrote the foreword to the book. Anyway, it is, uh, this is a book uh, really about the ministry of Jesus, the ministry of the church. It also talks about how to perse persevere through sufferings, through trials in the midst, and that you know we're not hopeless victims, right? That we might be a wounded healer. That's true. We might be a wounded healer, but we're not a hopeless victim. And that God has called us to step out and to begin to, to love on people, to literally love the hell out of people, right? And so this is what this book is all about. 
And it's an honest betrayal. You'll, you'll, I'll, you'll hear me talk about how I went through a period of time where we were planting a church, and I get sick with a weird disease called achalasia. My esophagus quits working. My mom gets stage 4 melanoma cancer. And my son goes from a normal kid to a special needs over, kid overnight. I mean, literally, we were told to institutionalize my son while we're planting a church. Let me tell you, is that the right time to plant a church? In the natural, no. <laughs> From the kingdom, yes. And so, and, and the Lord said, I want you to go pray for the sick like you've never prayed for the sick before. And so I tell the story about that in this too, and how to persevere through those times. And that's, we're not to shrink back, but we're to step up and say, Holy Spirit, would you come and would you release uh, your presence and power? Listen, I, I, I believe there's, we'll, we'll see waves of revival, but you know what? The, you guys... Your revival, <laughs> really, you are. The revival list lives inside you. The evangelist lives inside you. The power of God lives inside you. And it's not just that we're waiting for a move of God. I really believe God's waiting for you to move. And that changes the whole thing. Because, listen, God poured out his spirit. And then he, that's when he, on the time he said to wait. Sometimes I think we're waiting. Oh, God, pour it out again. Oh, pour it out again. He said, if you go, I'll pour it out. As you go, I'll pour it out. And so this is the thing. We are called to gather, but we are called to scatter in our workplaces, with our families, with everywhere we go. It doesn't matter where you're going. You are to represent Jesus. Everything is sacred to him. And he loves to be this. We were called to enjoy God and to enjoy his mission, right? And to live this thing out. Amen? Amen? Amen. So this book's this, and I'd like to give this to somebody. If you have a, a birthday or an anniversary, I, I heard 724. Uh, does 724 mean anything to somebody? It's a special date, a birthday, uh, 724, that'd be July uh, 24, right? That's what I said, 724. 724, does that make any sense? I know sometimes you've got to think through, through things. It may not be. If, if it's not, you won't get the book. <laughs> You can go buy some out there. No. So 724 doesn't mean anything. Okay, that's fine. Hey, well, let me tell you, who's ever hungry enough to come get this, you can have it. <laughs> hey, I'll give this one to you. This is uh, about healing and power evangelism. Yeah, awesome. All right. Oh, guys, this is good. God's going to do some stuff. In fact, actually, who right now, you have a pain right uh, in the, the mid to lower part of your back, it goes, wraps around the waistline, um, and it's, I feel like there's a knot in the center, and it's this radiating pain that, that goes out, um, and you've had this, I, I believe, for uh, the last 30 days, it's really increased. You, I think you had an injury a while back, but the last month, it's just increased, 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 and it's uh, like this little knot in the back, and it radiates all the way around, uh, and this like uncomfortable burning pain. Who, who's that person that you have middle to lower back issues right in the middle and it's rating out, I believe in the last 30 days it's just, it's increased, but it was an injury from a while ago. Does that make sense to anybody? I mean, it could be online, right? It could be online. But we're gonna, yeah. So if that's you online, receive that and be healed in Jesus name. But anybody in, in here, you're having a problem with a lower back. Yeah. Do you have it in that specific area that I'm talking about? Yes, but not in the last 30 days. Not in the last 30 days, okay. It's been going on for a long time. Okay, on a scale from 0 to 10, what's your pain right now? Right now? Yep. An 8? Why don't you come up here? Okay. Uh, what'd you say? It's been a 50. Oh, okay, come up here for a second. What's that? Somebody else over here that had with Just today? Okay, that's okay. Come up here. You, you have pain right now in this moment? Okay, all right, why don't you guys turn this way. You as well, okay. And then, who's the person that you, uh, it's, it's your right knee, and I saw just a twisting of the right knee, and it's become very weakened. Um, and the right knee, you twisted it, that's you as well, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do one of these ones, okay. Uh, also, right here along the uh, left side, all the way from your rib cage down through uh, down to your, your waist here, you've been having some some pain uh, that's been going on. I don't know what it was. Does that make sense? Okay, come up here. So we're, I thought we would do with a, you know I, I brought a PowerPoint this morning. This is the PowerPoint. <laughs> uh, 
and then we'll get in the message, and then we'll do some ministry, okay? So anyway, uh, also, I felt like there was someone here that you were having um, on the left side of your neck going down into your left shoulder. Uh, you're having issues, and it's hard to even move and lift your, your left shoulder up without, uh, without pain. Who's that person? Okay, your husband, okay. Um, are you standing for something back there? You're just standing. Okay, someone snuck in. Okay, good. All right. Um, and then one last uh, thing, too. Um, yeah, I felt like just this shooting pain right across uh, to my belly button and, and over. And there's been some real heart. Is that you as well? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. One last thing. Um. I felt like there was something wrong with, with the bottom of the foot on the left side and your ankle. There's something like in the heel and the ankle on the left side. Uh, who is that? The Lord, I believe the Lord wants to bring healing to you right now. Healing on uh, the, the, the foot. I don't know if it's like a bone spur. What's that? You got the right side? Your right side ankle. Is it on the ball of your foot or the back of your foot as well? Okay, we'll pray for you in just a second. Anybody, does anybody else not register too? Okay, going once, <laughs> going twice. Okay, maybe I missed her, maybe it's online. If that's you online, let the Lord's presence come on you. May you be healed now in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go through. Do we have another mic at all that we could give these guys? It would be helpful. Okay, so tell me your name. Chilo, and, and uh, your pain is on a scale from 0 to 10, what's your pain and where's it at? It's on my left shoulder. Your left shoulder? Okay. About 300. About a 300, so it's bad. Okay. All right. Um, I've been having a lot of pain in through here, and they found out I have diverticulitis. Okay. And it's been very painful. Okay. Are you in pain right now this morning as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. What would you give that pain on a 0 to 10 Today, level? Today, about a 7. 7? Okay. My name is Chris. I have... Uh, Chronic back pain. Chronic back pain. Just on the left side. On the left Today side. Today it just seems like it's worse than it usually is. Okay. Hi, I'm Juanita, and uh, I also have on the left side, and it starts in the back and goes around to the front. Okay. And what's your what's the scale level right now of pain? Um, right now it's a, probably about a five. A five. Okay. Uh, I have uh, the shoulder pain, low back, hip, and knee, and Achilles tendon. So head, shoulders, knees, and toes, yes, yes, knees, and toes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Jim, um, pain in left side of the neck radiating through my shoulder. You should, did you say you were a pain in the neck or you have a pain in the neck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, we can have fun That's with this wife. too, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. And we'll, it's about six. About a six. All right. Okay. So here's what I want to do just for a moment because I'm always in this place of like just – practicing God's presence because God's always working. He's always moving. And there's times that we, we do the traditional prayer. Uh, sometimes we can just be in, around and sometimes God just starts touching and healing people. And so I'm just going to wait just for a moment just to see if something begins to change in their body. Um, and I'm going to have them test it out. If not, then I'll, I'll, I'll do something else. Because I think there's, we need to learn to be creative, especially in this hour and day. Um, we learn how to do stuff at church in one way. We need to learn how to do something different when we're you know, in Walmart, you know, and sometimes just being around someone and talking to them, uh, the presence of God can come on them. I've been in Uber drives where it's like, what did you just do to me? I said, I, what are you talking about? She goes, the pain just left my body. And I said, well, sometimes it leaks out of me, you know, I mean, so, uh, so God's moving and, and his presence is here. So I just, I just want to see, will you begin just to check your bodies right now and just see if anything's changed? And if it hasn't, I mean, don't lie. You know, because Christians lie all the time, and we shouldn't lie. So, but be honest with me. Move, move your body around and, and just see if something's taking place right now. Not yet. That's okay. Any change with you? Any change with you? It's decreasing. It was a what? It was a five or four. What is it now? Maybe a three. So we can go from a five to a three. I think we can go from a three to a zero. Amen. I'm going to come check on you a second. How about with you? Anything else? 
Keep moving your body around. No change yet? Decreasing. I couldn't bend my head to the left Yeah. without pain. It's gone down. It's gone down from what? To a two. And what was it before? Six. A six. Six to a two. Just standing there moving your body right in the presence of God. M move it again. Let's just see what's, what's happening with the two of you. It's not as bad. What is it now? You said the, the number was a three. What is it now? Um, maybe a two. Maybe a two. So it went down just a little bit. Just a little right? Bit. Amen. Like, right? We want to, yeah, bless what God's doing. So keep moving around for just a second. So we're doing this, this process. They're... they're uh, looking and seeing what, what God's doing. They're, they're interacting with that, that place of God, your presence is on me. Let's, let's see what happens. Okay, what's going on with you now? It's about, the same. about the same. Any change with you yet? <laughs> yeah. Is it gone? Yeah, it's so much easier to move my head. So much easier to move. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, but is, is, what would you give the pain level now? Is it one, yeah. zero, what? Yeah. One. Just a one? Yeah, just a little discomfort. That's okay. All. No just pain. Move your head again like that and let's see if it's, it goes. No pain. No pain? Hallelujah. Is it gone? Yes. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, while this is happening, if, if you didn't get caught in the word and you have something, I, through the whole time that I'm, I'm up here ministering, I want you to move your body, check your body. If something begins to happen at any point in time, I just want you to stand up and wave at me, right? So if you have pain in your body, if be, something begins to move or change as you're moving your body and, and something happens, what are you going to do? Yeah. Stand up and wave. Also, I believe the presence of God may start coming on many of you and imparting stuff to you. And let's not wait just for the end. It's Jesus who gives the impartation. Grace lets of God comes. And so if you begin to feel God's presence come on you or your heart is like, oh, God, I want you to stand and just hold out your hands. And if I see you, I'm just going to bless what God's doing. You know, I don't. Just stay in that place because God's doing something to anoint you. So if you feel God's presence come on you, what are you going to do? Stand up. Father, I bless her in Jesus' name. And I thank you for your power. Would it increase? Increase all these ladies in Jesus' name. So check. How's your body now? It's about the same. About the same. Okay. Why don't you come over here? Will you stand right here for a second? Come here, sir. Will you turn this way so everyone can kind of see, he can see you. So it's all the way gone. So the Bible says, freely you receive, freely give. Yes. And so here's what I'd like you to do. It, would it be okay uh, if, why don't you just, just put your hand towards her. Don't even touch her. Just put your hand towards her. Okay. And I want you just to, uh, you can be as comfortable as you want. You can look at him. You can close his eyes. You can make him really nervous. <laughs> But I want you to keep your eyes open. I want you just to watch <clears throat> and say, Father, Father, thank you for your healing presence. Thank you for your healing presence. As freely as I received, as freely as I received, I freely give to her. Freely give to her. Now all pain. Now all pain. Get out. Get out. And go. And go. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Spirit of infirmity. Spirit of infirmity. And trauma. And trauma. Leave. Leave. Now. Okay, move your body and see what's going on. It is better. It is better. Like how much better? Much better. <laughs> is it much better? Like, can you give me a number? That I want to like. I want to see. I want to see if it's, we, we're going for zero. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> um, I don't know. Where did, where did you start at? Where did you start at? As the service has gone on, it's gotten less. Uh -huh. I've been praying for this for yeah. some time. Yeah. Uh, it's arthritis, and it's also other things that are going on. Right, and it's been that lower part right there? Yeah, it's been <clears throat> this whole Okay, section. can we just do one quick thing real Can you bring me a chair right here for just a second? Sorry, they're, they're locked together. <laughs> Why don't you come sit, sit down for just one second? Do you mind if we just help her out for a second? Okay, scoot all the way back. Now, I want you to come help me with this. Here, let me see your feet for a second. Okay, 
So I'm pushing on you so you're not, not pulling your shoe, <laughs> right? Do you see that difference right there? Mm -hmm. So what would you say, that, how much do you think that is right now? From the heel to the heel? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's about half. About half an inch mm -hmm. or more? Yeah. Okay, so I want you to say leg and spine straighten. Leg and spine straighten. Watch this. Leg and spine. Hey, look, 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 look. Now watch. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Thank now you, watch Jesus. Now watch. Oh, yeah. No, it's going to keep growing. Watch. Yes. Watch. This one's keep growing. Look, look. Mm -hmm. Is that one not mm -hmm. growing? Because it's going to be a sign and a yes. wonder to her that God's doing something unusual in you. It has Now tell that, tell that one to go back. Tell it to go back. Go back. And come into place. Come into place. Now watch it. Hallelujah. Hmm. The power of God is moving here right now. Come on, Amen. Jesus. It, it's, yes. Now I want you to stand up. Now, you tell us honestly, what did you experience? What did you feel when that happened? I could feel the movement. You could feel the movement? Yes. Now I check could. the rest of your body. Hallelujah. Much better. Much better. It is much better. Is it gone yet, though? Almost all gone. Almost Maybe all gone. One. Maybe a one. Okay, we'll, we'll stick with that. Stay here. Okay, come here. So you've been having problems where? In my lower back. In your lower back as well. Why don't you come sit down for a second? You're going to help me with this one. Okay, why don't you sit down, push all the way back up, where you're straight. Yeah, push your bum bums all the way back. <laughs> here you go. Let me see your feet, your legs. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to push on you so you know. See, look. Because <laughs> you know what? why I do this is because there's been people online that I've seen them, they would start pulling their shoe and doing all this kind of stuff, so I want to make it sure that if something happens, it's, it's going to have to push through this, this, this thing. So do you see that difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, so God did that for you. So as freely as you receive, I want you to freely give it away. So say, Jesus. Jesus. Do to him what you did to me. Do to him what you did to now me. Now watch it. Watch it. Mm. Watch it. <laughs> now just command it to keep going. Just say go more. Go, look, it's, look. Go you, can more, you look Lord. this? Thank you, Jesus. Look at that. How much more it's going? Woo. Woo. Yes. Look at that. Here it goes. More. Thank you. Is that Jesus. not wild? That is. Now wild. tell it to go back, so he's not all, all upsided. <laughs> do we need taller or shorter? What do you want to do? I need to be taller. Okay. <laughs> now here it goes back right there. I can feel it. Yeah. Now I want you to stand up. Yeah. yeah. Stand up and check your back. Do this 10 minutes ago. Yes. Thank you very much. So good. You, Is the pain gone? About a one. About a one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Move it around. Check your body again. Huh? Check your body again. Oh, yeah. Check your body. Remember, you guys check your body as well. How are we? <laughs> He's like, come on, Jesus. Okay, so when you stay up here with me. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't see you. She's hiding. Yes, actually, I'm going to come right back to you. Just one second. I want you to come here. Here. I want you to come here. Let's turn around. Tell me your name again. Juanita. Juanita, and you have problems with your stomach, but where else? All through here that radiates yep. everything. Okay. And it's about a level, what did you say, five or six? I can't it remember. was about a seven, and it's still the same. Seven, okay. So, the Lord just touched you. Freely you receive, freely give. Yes. All right. So, here's what I want you to do. I just want you to just look at her for a second. We know each other. Yeah, that's okay. You just say this. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for healing me. If you can heal me. If you could heal me. You can heal her. Yeah. You could heal her. As freely as I receive. As freely as I receive. I freely give it to her. I freely give it to her. And I command the spirit of infirmity. I command the spirit of infirmity. To leave her body now. To leave her body now. And never to come back. And never come back. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. Today. Today. No more pain. No more pain. No more trauma. No more trauma. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I bless your presence I on her. I bless your presence on her. Now increase it. Now increase it. More. 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 More, Lord. More. More. 
You can give me that chair too. That's fine. More Lord. Oh, she can go on the ground too if she wants to. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so what's going on with you? Let's ask her what's going on with her. It's gone. It's gone. Yes. It's gone. The pain is gone. What happened? Did you feel like a warmth or a tingling? Yeah, or? really like fire. Fire. Yes. Wow. And you didn't even put your hands on her. So Corona, beware. <laughs> no. Stand up. Yeah. All right. Now come here. Okay. So you have several issues that's going on. We're the several issue girls. I do. Yep. Okay. You're, you're, uh, sh tell me again. Uh, it's a shoulder injury, and this whole side of my body in it, uh, severe Achilles tendon. Okay. There's a big lump down there. Big right. lump down there. So what would you give your pain all the way th through probably right now? Probably eight. An eight. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. <clears throat> I'm going to have you just gently just put your hand right, just one hand, right here. And just, just touch her. I don't want you to do anything just, except touch her. Okay. Now this is kind of like can be a little bit awkward and weird when you just like reach out and just touch someone just stare like oh, I know her. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But it, when you do this like at, at a restaurant in the mall, you just go up to someone and you say, "Hey, you have this this pain. What's Yeah, yeah, how did you know that?" I said, "Let me just do something." And I put my shoulder my hand on their shoulder and I just look at them and they're going, "What are you doing?" I said, "My hands on your shoulder." No. Why is pain going leaving my body? Because here's the deal. Christ is in you, the hope of glory. And there's different ways that we can pray. We get caught up in ways that we think we have to pray. And listen, use words if you have to. <laughs> but sometimes it's just the presence of God on you. Right? And sometimes the touch is very powerful. And I believe the enemy is also wanting to keep us from touch. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're just, we're just experimenting right now. So I want you to, just as she put her, her hand on your body, I want you just to see if something's loosened up or changed at all. And be honest, because it doesn't help you if you lie. <laughs> no change. No change. Okay, thank you for being honest. Okay. So the injury is not on this shoulder, it's on this well, shoulder. We're praying the wrong, okay, well, okay. why did you, oh, God, no. The rest of it is down here. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I don't know what you're trying to. No, I, no, it's okay. It's okay where we put your hand. No. Well, we should put our, your hand in very safe places, but anyway, so <laughs> say, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. And Lord, as you healed me. As you healed me. As I freely received. As I freely received. I freely give to you. I freely give to you. Now, spirit of infirmity. Now, spirit of infirmity. And trauma. And trauma. Go. Go. Right now. Right now. Come out of her body. Come out of her body. No more pain. No more pain. Yes. Let it come. Let it come. Keep your eyes open and watch her. Let your presence come. You can keep your eyes closed. It's fine. You'll make her nervous. Let your presence so, <laughs> come. We bless you. We bless you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Okay. Check your body. It's slightly better. Slightly better? Okay, we'll go with the slightly better. So it was, you said an 8 before? Yeah. So will we give it like 8.5? Mm -hmm. 8 7. 7. Okay, 7, that's good. Okay, let's try it one more time. Is this helping you guys? Yeah. Okay, okay. So Jesus? Jesus. Thank you for your healing presence. Thank you for your healing presence. All pain? All pain. Get out of her body. Get out of her body. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Okay, try it again. There's not any real change. Not any real change. Okay, that's, that's honest. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take her now, and you're going to help me just because of time. And because we're going to do something different. Come here. Oftentimes what happens is when we are, are suffering in our own pain, we shrink back sometimes. We think, well, I, how can God use me? We're all wounded healers. Like I said, at some level there's, there's something in you. But the enemy will get you to shrink back. And some of the greatest things that I've seen is when I've been in, either in pain or something's going on. And so I step out and I begin to give out of my own need. Right. Don't shrink back, step out, and begin to pray. And oftentimes what can happen to you is when you're giving away, it's like the kingdom starts busting in over your body too. But even if, if not, you keep pushing. It's like, I'm not going to allow the enemy or anything to keep me down. Okay? So your shoulder, is it what it was? Yeah. Okay. And how long have you had that? Uh, 
three years. Three years. Is it, does it keep you from being able to do certain things? No. Okay, it's just painful. I just, I, I haven't be, been able to lift it. Lift it up? Above, above my shoulder. I you can't know. lift it above your shoulder. No. Okay. Did you have an injury? Is that what happened three years ago or what? Um, can't quite remember. Okay, that's okay. Scale from zero to ten, what is it? That's as far as I can lift it. That's as far it. as you can lift it. Okay. I want you to put your hand on his shoulder. Okay. You have, yeah. Say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for your healing presence. Thank you for your healing presence. Let your power come upon him. Let your power come upon him. Shoulder. Shoulder. Be healed. Be healed. Inflammation go. Inflammation go. Right now, muscles loosen. Right now, muscles loosen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I command full rotation. I command full rotation. And no more pain. And no more pain. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Can I move your arm? A little bit. It's, it's better. Yeah, it's okay. Ugh. Father. Father. I think if it can move that far, it can move all the way. If it can move that far, it can move all the way. Now shoulder be healed. Shoulder be healed. Right now. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Okay, try it again. Mm -hmm. uh. We're going to get it all the way. Uh -huh. Yeah. We bless your shoulder. We bless your shoulder. And it's God's desire. It's God's desire. To give you the kingdom. To give you the kingdom. To release healing on you. To release healing on you. And listen, God's not just healing you. God's not just healing you. He's going to heal through you. He's going to heal through you. And there's an evangelism coming on you, man. There's an evangelism coming on you. Right now. In uh, Jesus' name. The Lord's going to use you in power. God's going to use you in power. And what he's given to you, a testimony right now. He's giving you a testimony right now. And you're going to release the testimony of Jesus. And you're going to release the testimony of Jesus. You think, who, who, who am I? How could God use me right now? The Lord said, I've made you and I've called you to be a bearer of good news. Yes. You don't have to pray that. That's what he's called you to do. Now, check your arm. Come on, let's get it. All the way. Give me a high five. Huh? Now hold on. Hey, can I hug you for a second? Okay, listen, don't like this. Hold on. Hold, no, I, I, I have a reason for it. Let me, let me just hold on. Holy Spirit, everything you've given to me, as fully as I received it, I fully give it to you, my friend, right now. Now, Lord, let the power of God come upon him for the working of miracles and healings, Lord, to bring in the lost, make him a magnet for the lost. In Jesus' name, I hear the power, the presence of God's all on you. In Jesus' name. And that hand that went up in victory, that's going to be hands all over the place going up as the kingdom of darkness is being destroyed, as people are surrendering to the love of God and being set free. The Lord's going to use you in all sorts of places, places where a lot of people can't go, to the broken, to the hurting, to the imprisoned, to the impoverished, to the addiction and all that, and their hands are going to fly in the air in victory in Jesus' name. So receive right now what the Lord has for you. This is a new assignment. This is destiny on your life, my friend, that God wants to use you in power. You're a harvester, so release the harvest. Lord, I just release words of knowledge, gifts of healing, and gifts of faith upon this man right now. In Jesus' name. Here comes more, more. Now fill him with your heart, God. Yeah, there it is. Come on, Jesus. Amen. Is that good? Come on, Jesus. That's your husband. Oh, hey, awesome. Amen. How are your body now? It's probably down to a five. But down to a five. See, as she's giving out of her need, the Lord begins to do something. I can feel him touching. I can feel you can feel him touching right now. Yeah, from the first time we prayed, I can feel it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Come on, Jesus. Okay, move around she again. Said, walk it out. Okay, what she she said walk it out. <laughs> like walk it out. <laughs> See ya. No, 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 I'm kidding. No, 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 I'm just... Like there's you a victory <laughs> lap. You're supposed to do like a victory lap. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Pastor, 11.30, kids are supposed to come in, but we can go until, okay, okay, so in just a few minutes, I'll tell you when you're, you have to go get your kids, 
but we're still going to do ministry, okay? Awesome. What's going on with her? I still have some pain. However, he showed me a couple weeks ago that I was, somebody prayed for me, I don't remember, anyway, it doesn't matter, um, that I was walking into healing. So you said 30 days, but in the last 30 days, I've gone from 50 oh, pain. Oh, interesting. Down. And he gave me a vision that as... As I take steps forward every day, I'm just getting better. So I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a confirmation to you. Yes. Yes. Awesome. So that was the words came together. That made sense. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, that's my PowerPoint. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't he good? So God's always working. He's always moving. And he's called us to be a church that continually puts him on display wherever you go. Um, you know, here's the thing. Not only is God always working, he's always speaking to us. And sometimes he's speaking to us through, you know, words of knowledge or, or special revelation that comes, and, and that comes in many different forms, whether that is you, you get an impression in your mind. Oftentimes, for me, anymore, when I get words of knowledge, are like fleeting thoughts, and I've just learned how to grab a hold of them. I mean, it's like there and it's gone, and I could miss it in a moment. And it almost seems foolish, because like, well, what if nothing happens? But what if something does, right? Sometimes you might feel things in your body, all that. So look, listen, respond. So look for where God is moving, listen for his voice, and then do that hard thing about stepping out. You know, faith is spelled R-I-S-K, it's a risk. You know, when you start feeling your heart beating, and your, your knees are shaking, and you're sweating, you know what that is? That's the anointing <laughs> of God coming on you. And it's okay for you to feel a little bit of that fear, right? Because you know what that is? That's the enemy trying to administer fear to you to keep you back. Because he knows if you know who you are in Christ that moment, his kingdom will be plundered. So take that and turn it around. When you feel that, this, the Lord's on you. Go for it, right? So I want to talk to you about a couple of things like that and give you some, uh, some stories to kind of help illustrate this point, how God might speak to you in these un... It just as you're going about your day, because I really believe that's the thing, that the kingdom of God is meant for the mundane activities of your life. That the mission of God is found in those times. We, we think mission as we go on a mission trip. We think, you know, Sunday service. We think outreach. But what if we begin to think every aspect of your life is meant to be outreach? Yes. Right? And I'm not talking about just being this crazy thing where you don't get anything done and all you can do is pray for people. What I'm talking about is you're going along walking with Jesus and you're also being observant and saying, Lord, what's going on? And as he speaks to you, you simply obey. So sometimes he speaks in, in revelatory, and other times he speaks in just seeing a need or hearing about something going on. And what I've learned to do is to, when I see somebody, like maybe they're hurting or they're in pain, I live with my physical eyes, not with through a word of knowledge, or I hear like a conversation, I take that as just like I got a word of knowledge. That that's an invitation, because why did I hear it? And so that's some, sometimes that, that we, if we can catch on to that, we can begin to see things. Also, I want to tell you this, that how many of you know that, uh, <laughs> how many of you guys have a lot of inconveniences? And how many, how many of you just love to be inconvenienced? And those times where you're inconvenienced, what, what do we do oftentimes as Christians, if we want to be honest? The devil's coming against me again, you know, my car's broken, this and that, and you start to get in this mindset of like, what is going on, this warfare or, you know, I'm going to be late, or some, why is this messing up my day? And we allow it to affect us. If we're honest, how many of us do that? Okay, let's just be honest, right? What if, though, that's not the enemy? What if the Lord is allowing some things to take place to uh, irritate the moment, not that he's here, but allow that to inconvenience to become an invitation to get you in front of someone you might not have gotten in front of? So what if you begin to change the way you're thinking and maybe you turn down a wrong street or, you know, something happens and you get that unexpected phone call or, you know, whatever you want to fill in the blank that begins to take you out of your routine or your day, instead of getting frustrated, maybe you ask, Holy Spirit, what are you doing? Just recently we were at a hotel and my, my wife and I got put in this way far off part of the hotel, which nobody likes to, to be at. It's like, it was really inconvenient. It was far from the elevator, far from a lot of places, and it was the back side of the hotel. And so that's where we were put, and we're like, okay, we're tired. We got off the plane. We just want to get some rest. So we start, you know, unpacking our stuff. It's cold, so my wife turns on the heater, and then she hears this, and I'm 
I'm like, I don't think heaters are supposed to do that in hotels. So my wife calls down and she said, is the heater supposed to go? He goes, no, let me send somebody up. So they send somebody up and the guy's turning on the heater. And it's going. He goes, yeah, you need to move to another room. So let me tell you, how much of that is we're in a far off room, we're inconvenienced. Now we've unpacked stuff. That's an inconvenient moment. Now we can get frustrated because we're tired. I said, okay, Lord, what are, you, what are you wanting to do? So we pack up and we're literally walking out the room. And all of a sudden I see the, a lady that works there and another gentleman uh, that have been cleaning rooms. And as I pass her, she's speaking to another man. She goes, oh my gosh, I'm in so much pain. My hip and my leg are killing me. And I, start, I said, so you're in pain? She goes, I said, I didn't mean to overhear your conversation, but you know, as I was walking by, you said that. She goes, oh, I'm in horrific pain. I said, on a scale from zero to 10, what's your pain? She goes, a 20. I said, well, I said, how about this? Do you mind if I just take a moment just to pray for you? She goes, you're going to make me cry. See, sometimes we think, no, get away from me, or what, what is the outcome going to look like? And I just put my hand on her shoulder. I said, Jesus, thank you for healing her. I said, you're going to feel like this warm presence come on your body. And she did all the pain completely left. And she is weeping. And here's the thing. God allowed us to get into an inconvenient place, to get into a room where the heater was, right? To get us in front of a woman who was in pain because he loved that woman so much that he would allow us to get uncomfortable for a moment for this lady to be comforted in her body and to begin to clean all these rooms without pain. So what if we begin to change what we're thinking? Change the way you think, believe the good news of the gospel, and we'll see the kingdom of God come in great power. So God's always working. He's always moving. He's just looking for us to join him in the family business. And the family business is signs, wonders, and miracles. It's healing the sick. It's casting out demons. It's raising the dead. This is normal Christianity. It's not for a select few. It's not for a select few. I, listen, I, I, did, I wasn't born with a, you know, a, a prophetic birthmark on my butt cheek that said prophetic evangelist. <laughs> Maybe some of you were, and that's awesome if you were. But I, I grew up as a normal, everyday believer, and I began to hear that God wanted to take just ordinary people like me. I'm a skinny man trapped in a fat man's body trying to follow Jesus. And so if God can use me, then he, he can use you. And so, but that's what it's meant to be. We've come into a celebrity state sometimes, and we, the guys on the stage or this, I'm telling you what, I, I love the opportunity to come and be in front of people. That's great. But you know, my, my greatest place is to be on the stage of the Father's heart <laughs> or to be out in front of people because that's where it is. I, but I love to come and equip the church, to begin to do the works of the kingdom because that's what we're called to do. So evangelists, prophets, teachers, there are coaches. They come alongside the church to lift the church up to do what? The work of the ministry. And listen, I, I would submit to you that all of us are power evangelists. Acts 1 9 says, When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you'll receive, you'll, you'll receive the Holy Spirit. You'll be, be what, though? It says, You will be a witness. So He comes on you with power for the purpose of being a witness. A witness for who? A witness for Christ. And not just in proclamation, demonstration. That's why we started out the message with demonstration, with a PowerPoint. Because oftentimes what we do is we, 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 we know how to talk about the gospel. We don't know how often to demonstrate the gospel. But if, I'm telling you, if you can demonstrate it, they'll listen all day long. 